Yeah. But there you go. Yeah. Um, in other news, the now defunct Greenville, Greenville Christian College in Ontario has stated that its staff should not be held accountable for abusing the pupils because they had no way of knowing it would cause emotional damage. It was just abuse. <laughs> we were just abusing them. We didn't know they'd feel abused. <laughs> we tied them to some firing dummies and launched some spitfires at them. What, what's the problem? What? What of it? What? What? Yeah. Uh, in February 2020, a judge presiding over a class action lawsuit on behalf of former students found uh, that staff at Greenville Christian College responsible for systematically abusing boys and girls who attended the boarding school in the, late, in the 1970s, 80s and 90s. That abuse included repeating uh, repeated references to girls in their care as sluts, whores, Jezebels and bitches in heat. Um, and saying that uh, rape is the res- is the result of girls and boys being too tempting to men. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound like what I would classify as abuse. It's disgusting. Well, but like if it's just language about being referred to them, yeah, like it's definitely wrong. But is it abuse? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's the so it's, it, they do carry on um, at the. At the- <laughs> <laughs> make any remarks on it don't do a spinning dreidel just yet like it gets it gets worse uh, at, the, <laughs> at the trial in ontario superior uh, court of justice um former students testified that they were routinely publicly shamed in what the school called light sessions uh fellow students and staff would scream at them and call them names sometimes for <laughs> hours um <laughs> pretty light isn't it sounds light yeah light like a vaccination that's like it's 20 percent less than the full gear <laughs> uh, for, transe- for tran- transgressions such as smoking or being caught alone with a member of the opposite sex some say they also experience beatings with a paddle hard enough to make them bleed um, others mm. were told that their parents were evil um, and said that they in- <laughs> <laughs> you your parents are evil what does this have to do with me smoking your parents are evil <laughs> Oh, the shame! <laughs> and they, uh, and also endured exorcisms. Um. <laughs> Is this still in the light, uh, yeah, yeah. light, light area side of things? The light side of abuse. Uh, girls were yeah. chastised for behaving like prostitutes and being too tempting for men, while boys were suspected, boys suspected of being gay, were called faggots and told they'd be damned to hell. Um, so <laughs> told it's like in part. You know you're going to be damned to hell, right? Yeah. Feels like they probably weren't part passively said like that. It was probably screamed at them in the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Told. They were just informed that they're going to be damned to hell. They were given a flyer. Yeah. <laughs> Stop and doing there was that. A, there's a whole Eternal thing about like girls having to kind of like, um, like like bend over and and like show that their uh, bathing suits weren't too revealing or something like in front of the teachers. It was, it's, it's it, the whole thing is just an awful shit show, but I would say yeah. it's probably tantamount to abuse. I think put all together, you can be in an abusive environment for sure. Yeah. So you can have, you've definitely experienced abuse. We had it's no way strange. of knowing that our abusive behavior was <laughs> abusive. And of course, I mean, we were screaming at them yeah. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not abuse. Uh, technically not. But I mean, if you do it to them every day, that's pretty abusive. Yeah. People died in that's the war. Special. People didn't die in our school. <laughs> yeah. About as reliable as an AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, previous times. Uh, the, the, the previous generation. The great generation. The thing is, like, I, I, I know like our parents had like um, corporal punishment where they were kind of, they, it was mm. fine to like be hit in school. Um, but I don't think I've ever known any of them describe it as abuse or abusive because it wasn't, uh, they weren't being punished for being who they are. And they weren't being pun- punished for moral reasons. They were being punished because they'd acted out normally. Whereas, well, I'm sure there was is... cases where they were unjustly punished Probably. For, for acting yeah. out or, or done like that. I reckon it's more. It just wasn't part of the lexicon. Like people didn't even consider. They, the The assumption in the past was that they know best. You know, the adults know best. Yeah. And so they're they're probably justified in some way. 
And it's just by people questioning it over time. It's now been a place of like, no, why are you doing this? Like yeah. you need to have a reason and there are, there's no justifiable reason. I mean, it sounds like an intense place. <laughs> yeah. Just screaming in public in the square every day. Yeah. I mean, huh. it's, it's, it's long got since maths in a closed. Minute. I think, I think this is like a big sort of class action lawsuit from all the old pupils and stuff who are all in like their forties and shit now. Um, I mean, they, you must have like, the parents must have gone round on an open day because they must have done this knowing that this is what they want. As in the school teachers must be proud of that's the kind of environment that they create because mm. they think it's the right way. It doesn't sound like it was a few bad eggs. Yeah, a few bad eggs like screaming was... at children in the square feels like more people would know about it's it. It's not like it was hidden, I guess. No, so it's like they, they on a parent's day to like bring their kids, oh, this is where we scream at them. Yeah. Uh, this is where, you know, we, we make the bikinis bend down. Yeah, this is the <laughs> bathing suit inspection room. Yeah, it's like, okay. I mean, seems odd. Yeah. But, uh, and this is where we paddle them until they bleed. <laughs> Excellent. Son, this is yeah. the place for you. <laughs> I mean, it's within our catchment area. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it costs nothing. Have you seen the other schools? It's just, yeah. The other school doesn't have a screaming chamber. 